Mark chapter 10, verses 21 and 22. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You lack one thing. Go, sell all that you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. Disheartened by the saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Jesus looks on this rich young ruler and gave him the solution for more. He gave him the answer for how to access the more that he wanted for his life. How to access a greater life and eternal life. Jesus told him, sell all you have, all you own, and give it to the poor, and come and do ministry. Like, really, Lord? Why would you do that to me? Why would you ask so much of me? What did I do wrong? Why would you take away all of this from me? You see, it felt like too big an ask. But why did the Lord do it? The Lord did it because he loved him. He did it because he wanted what's best for him. And he wanted to give him his heart's desire. His heart's desire was eternal life. His heart's desire was more. His heart's desire was a greater life. The Lord knew the only way he could make this happen for him was to deliver him from the addiction to the wealth, fame, and power. To deliver him from the bondage that came with his reliance and dependence on the wealth, fame, and power. And so, the only way he could get more is to let that go. But he was disheartened. You see, he misinterpreted the Lord. He thought the Lord was taking away his stuff. He thought the Lord was asking too much of him. How many times have we misinterpreted God? How many times are we in a position where God is seeking for our best, but we feel as if it is worse? He is seeking to get us to the very place that we desire, to give us the very thing that is our heart's desire. But because we do not understand his root, we misinterpret his move. And we mistrust his command. We get disheartened when he seeks to pull us away from things and sometimes pull us away from persons and pull us out of certain circumstances. But the Lord loves you. And all things will work together for your good. The Lord knows the plans he has for you plans of good and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. He knows just what he's doing. And sometimes you have to let go some things to get more. You see, the Lord was prepared to replace what he had given up with more once he was delivered from his attachment to them. The scripture tells us 
that anyone who give up houses and lands and brothers and sisters, etc., for his sake and for the gospel's sake, will receive a hundredfold in this life and eternal life to come. So he would have gotten more in this life. Plus, he would have gotten exactly what he was asking for, eternal life. But he needed to trust God and allow God to do with him what was best for him. When you cannot see his hand, trust his heart, because he means you well. And he is working it out for your good. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.